हेलो एंड नमस्ते इन कंटिन्यूशन विद द लिनियर एलजिब्रा टॉपिक मेट्राइसिस वी हैव स्टार्टेड विद द केले हैमिल्टन थ्योरम आफ्टर द सीरीज ऑफ आइगन वैल्यूज एंड वेक्टर्स नाउ केले हैमिल्टन थ्योरम इज आल्सो एब्रिवेटेड एज सीएच थ्योरम इन दिस पर्टिकुलर सेशन वी आर गोइंग अहेड विद द वेरिफिकेशन ऑफ सीएच थ्योरम फाइंडिंग आउट द ए इनवर्स यूजिंग द सीएच थ्योरम एंड हायर पावर्स ऑफ कैपिटल ए सो व्हाट इज एग्जैक्टली द केले हैमिल्टन थ्योरम the statement goes as every square matrix satisfies its own characteristic equation what do you mean by that this means that if c0 lambda to the power n plus c1 lambda to the power n minus 1 plus so on c n minus 1 lambda plus c n is equals to 0 is characteristic equation of a square matrix capital a of lambda of the order small n then Every lambda has been replaced as capital A. Every lambda has been replaced as capital A, and this constant term is getting accompanied with I. And we will form this equation: c zero a to the power n plus c one a to the power n minus one, and so on. C n into I is equals to zero. Suppose this is the first equation. Now, what we have to note it, as I have said, when lambda has been replaced by A. in the characteristic equation the constant term cn should be replaced by cn into i to get the result of kelly hamilton theorem where i is the unit matrix of order small n also zero in the rhs that is this right hand side of one is known as a null matrix or you can say a zero matrix of order small n so we have to have this capital n that is this unit order you need a vector as well as this null matrix of the same order of that of capital a now first question goes as verification or verify kelly hamilton theorem for the following matrix and hence find a inverse and a to the power 4 this matrix we have taken it from of as a 3 cross 3 matrix now again the same thing we have to do it what we uh, used to do it that is till you need to find out the characteristic equation so it's lambda cube minus summation of ai i lambda square plus summation of mii into lambda minus determinant of a is equals to 0 so we are finding out this summation of ai i that is this 2 plus 2 plus 2 which is 6 and summation of mii is the minus for corresponding this 2 this 2 and this 2 that is the corresponding diagonal elements minus of diagonal elements and that is we got it as 9 determinant of a matrix we got this as 4 and after this putting this values here in this equation we are going to get the characteristic equation as lambda cube minus 6 lambda square plus 9 lambda minus 4 is equals to 0 now what what is our claim here our claim is to prove that or to verify ch theorem what do you mean by the verification of a ch theorem means every lambda here in this equation would be replaced as capital a and this 4 is accompanied by i so that means we have to prove that a cube minus 6a square plus 9a minus 4i is equals to 0 this is what we need to prove it using the matrix multiplication now how can we go ahead on go about it because we need a cube a square because a we have got i we can easily find out and we can just go for this algebra a simple algebra provided we should have this a cube with us and a to the power 3 that is a powers of a okay so that means a square is nothing but capital a into capital a it's a simple matrix multiplication will give rise to this matrix and if we are multiplying this this a square so this is what a square into a will give rise to a cube now this is what we have to do it manually uh, otherwise you can use the calculator might be on uh, fx 991 es or fx 991 ex or otherwise there are other versions of this casi also can do the matrix multiplication i will be providing you how to go about the matrix mode and do the matrix multiplication and other algebra of a matrices from this i button please do follow this so this a square and a cube directly you can get it just in one few clicks not i will not say one click because we, you need to feed the matrix first in the this 6 is the mode for this calculator and we have to feed the matrix a and then we can get the a square a to the power 3 and higher powers of a's then this lhs so you can say that lhs equals to a cube minus 6a square 
plus 9a minus 4i. So we have to just put a cube here. Then 6 times a square is this matrix here. This is 6 times a square. This is 9 times a and this is 4 times i. And we are doing this simple algebra and we are going to achieve this is equals to 0. That means ultimately we got it as a cube minus 6a square plus 9a minus 4i is equals to 0 using this simple calculations which is a basic like matrix multiplication and all and if at all you are not comfortable with this you can go ahead and check this is this is also very important uh, that is a matrix more and this is a this is this is a gadget which you are going to use it for this type of verification so ch theorem verified now to find a inverse we have got what is the condition for the existence of a inverse that is a should be non-singular what do you mean by that that is nothing but determinant of a is not equals to zero we have and we know that if from this this is what is the value of determinant of a that is 4 we got it here that means in this case we have got the determinant of a is equals to 4 which is non-zero that means we can go ahead to find out the a inverse in this case so this is the equation or you can say by ch theorem we can have this a cube minus 6a square plus 9a minus 4i is equals to 0. We need this a inverse into the picture and for that reason we have to pre-multiply a inverse for the both the sides. And we know that in a matrix multiplication ab is not equals to ba always. That's the reason we have to whenever we are multiplying pre we have to do the same thing to the other side as well. But as we have got 0 to the other side, it doesn't matter. It, it is going to give me 0 again. So, a squared. So, if I am multiplying a to the power minus 1 with this entire uh, entire equation. So, it is minus 1 plus 2, minus 1 plus 3, 2, minus 1 plus 2, 1, minus 1 plus 1, 0. That is i over here. I, 9 cannot be alone here because we are doing a matrix algebra. Any operation, the constant should not be there um, alone. It has to be accompanied by the same order. So, we have got it here, a, the order of a matrix A is 3. So, it has to be I3 minus A inverse into I that will give me 4A inverse. And this will give us 4A inverse is equals to this A square minus 3, uh, 6A plus 9I. And this is nothing but we have, we are, we have just calculated A square from here. This is the matrix of 6a and this is a 9i which will give us a inverse as this matrix which is 4 because see it's, it's a 4a inverse. But a inverse is nothing but this 1 by 4 will come to the other side and it is 1 by 4 into this matrix. You can again easily check this type of matrix from the, this matrix mode also you can get a inverse also from this you can cross check cross check your answer as well as you can just get the values directly from the calculator as well. To find a to the power 4, the same thing we have to do it. Instead of a inverse, we have multiplied, pre-multiplied with a and we are going to get this is a to the power 4 minus 6a cube plus 9a square minus 4a is equals to 0. That means a to the power 4 is the value of this. Just putting the values. First matrix is 6a cube. This is 9a square. And this is 4a. The simple algebra of these numbers will gives uh, gives us this. Again, as I have told you, this is can this can also be done using this mode. Please follow the I button for this type of series. I have I've made the series of this um, session wherein I have explained in detail the matrix mode of a calculator. Yeah, and this is about the self-observation slide. We have I've been given the verification of the uh, Kelly Hamilton. And a inverse and a to the power 4 for first two questions. And third question is verify the matrix and find out the a to the power minus 2. So that means what this, this particular matrix you will get it of something lambda cube uh, kind of equation. And we need to reach to the lambda to the or you can say here a cube by using the Kelly Hamilton. And you need to reach to the a to the power minus 2. So And you are aware that what we have done it to find out a inverse we have pre-multiplied with a inverse. Now what am I supposed to do here in this example please tell me which which factor we need to pre multiply with this. Do write in a comment section I am there. I hope you have understood the verification Kelly Hamilton theorem in detail. Stay connected stay tuned with the channel. Thank you so much. Happy learning.